What's up guys, my name's Sean. I'm a full-time clothing eBay reseller. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to search some comps and I'm gonna redeem myself from last week's video because uh, yeah, some of you guys called me out on some things that was absolutely true, but hey, let's get into it. So let's find some items to sell on eBay and I'm gonna show you one of the easiest ways to do that. At least uh, I've had some pretty good luck doing it. All right, so the one thing that you guys pointed out was whenever I searched Polo Ralph Lauren from my IP address, my browser, it populated a lot of my listings, which is absolutely true. So one way we can do this, which helps out, is to go into incognito mode. And you pretty much just go to the little dots here on the side, new window, incognito, and we're in this one. So this is what we're, what we're gonna use moving forward, um, just to like <laughs> not, not uh, gloat about ours being in the top rated, but there definitely was a lot of Polo Ralph Lauren's of my store in the top page, but definitely not as much as before. So let's look at a brand. So. If you don't know any brands in your store at all, or say you're new to clothing, you don't know any brands whatsoever, you could just type something as simple as long sleeve button shirts. It's coming into winter, so this is a good one. Or we could even do like jackets, but let's just do uh, long sleeve button shirts. Men's, and we're gonna do used. So as we do the search, what are we gonna see? 900, almost a million plus, or almost a million button up shirts. So what you wanna do is, you wanna do some of these, uh, advanced tab features. And one of the things we can do is look for sold completed and press search and let's see what we come up with. So 260,000, so it's like, you know, 25% sell through rate. What you would wanna do is go through high to low to see what some of the most expensive things are. Look at this one, Tupac shirt, Versace, like he actually wore that similar shirt or maybe it was worn by him. That's crazy. Anyway, these are super crazy super high end, you're probably not gonna find that kind of stuff. So what you wanna do is you wanna get it a little bit more realistic. So let's just do uh, $100 shirts as the max. And let's say the minimum you want is $30. You don't want anything lower than that. Also, we're gonna go to buy it now because we don't really wanna do like auctions or anything like that. We're gonna use used. Um, let's see, what else can we put here? We can put uh, where the items are located. So we can do within 200 miles because I source about a 200 mile radius of my house and we are in the 76308 neighborhood, and we are going to search. And yeah, it's sorted by high to low. Oh, view results. Let's do gallery view. I think gallery view, and we want 240, so that'll just help. These will get you a little bit better at sourcing these items, so there are lots. Now, somebody said to put minus lots in the chat, I mean, in the comments, and I don't know, let's just see what it does. Minus lots at zero. So I don't know if I'm doing that incorrectly. I think they said not to space it, but um, I am not seeing it. Okay, minus lots, and we got a bunch of lots. So I don't know about the minus lots feature, but we're just gonna go off of this. So 1700 plus, and yeah, there's definitely some lots. So let's just kind of like bypass that. First, we got uh, Robert Graham. We got this brush popper, which is super popularized lately. Another Robert Graham. This Ben Silver, now this is my listing, folks. And that is because uh, I found this one. So let's just click into one of my listings. This is Taylor Exchange, that's me. And I found this shirt, it looks super basic. This looks like a, a tag you would see everywhere, but this is Ben Silver Charleston by William Lockie, 100% cashmere made in Scotland. So this instantly had a few things that I was like intrigued with. One was 100% cashmere, I knew I was probably gonna pick it up because most of, the, this was 350 by the way. Ben Silver, I wasn't sure about. It, it's kind of tough when you have silver in the uh, title because it brings up a lot of like precious metals and things like that. And then Charleston, William Lochte, like it's just a lot of words, but whenever I saw Made in Scotland, I knew that was an indicator that it might be good. So I did a little bit of searching on this one and I found that it was going for a lot of money and it sold right away. Like I accepted an offer, I think it was $85 maybe on this one. So that was definitely a good pickup by me. Next up, we got all these brush poppers. Now, Tom Ford, there is a um, Tom Ford and there's another one that's like an off-brand of Tom Ford. I can know what it is, but I always get it mixed up. So Tom Ford is one I've yet to find, but sells really well. Here's Scully. Scully is a great one. Look at all these like cards on it too. Wrangler Brush Popper, Robert Graham. Here's a Ralph Lauren, now that's interesting. Oh, it's purple label. So if you guys didn't know, Ralph Lauren has a purple label. Purple label is pretty fancy. It looks just like this. I found two of these, I think. Two of them I think I found in all my sourcing. Brunello Cuccolini. Let's check this one out. I don't think I found this one yet before. And you can also find out the buyer stores in your area that are doing well because these solds all came out of 
200 mile radius. So yeah, made in Italy. I would probably pick this up even if I didn't know the um, tag. But you got to be careful because there is a brand called Made in Italy brand, which is really annoying. It's made in China, but it's called Made in Italy. Look at that brush popper wrangler. So yeah, you see, you're seeing a trend. Robert Graham and brush poppers are leading the the charge here, and then this purple label is coming up. We also have um, this one, the Gerbo. Um, I've seen that in jeans a lot. Burberry Brit is actually better than Burberry, I think. Uh, here's another brush popper. Look at the trend of brush popper. Now this is a new one, Turnbull. So what you'd want to do is you want to write down these brands and like take them with you to the store or maybe source them on other platforms and see if you can find them for cheaper to resell. We've got this one. Do they get a close up of the tag? Yeah, here we go. That's another thing you want to look for. So this one looks like one, you know, made in England, but that script and stuff doesn't look that uh, expensive in my opinion. This looks like a common shirt. And the thing about it is look, it's sold for, you know, uh, in the 90s pretty much or maybe 80 bucks. Here's another one, Carolina Herrera. And look, this is on the back of somebody's door and it's still sold for 95. And it came out of Denton, Texas. So I definitely sourced this area. Let's take a look. There you go. See, so that tag right there is not anything special. And that's just some of the things, you know. So if you're in the stores and maybe you didn't um, do this research, just look up tags that you're not familiar with and see if you can find one. Here's this uh, Isaiah. I don't know if it's Isaiah, but I found one of these most recently. More brush poppers, Aztec. This type of stuff's gonna be um, the better ones of the brush poppers. The solid ones and the striped ones do well, but the Aztec is definitely the best. Here's Filson, Alaska. So this is CC Filson, but it must be like a different uh, model because I they put Alaska in there. Oh, they just put Alaska. That's interesting. So I wonder why they did that. Yeah, they just put Alaska in the title. Alaskan guide shirt, interesting. I wonder why they did that. It definitely helped get the sale. So yeah, this is a, uh, a pretty good way to do it. Haller Bros, this Kenzo, I've never heard of this one. Uh, Firelight Ranger shirt, yeah, I've never heard of this one either. There's a lot of brands out here, Dixon, Burberry Brit again, Luca Filoni, Made in Italy. So yeah, a lot of Made in Italy stuff, all these brush products, look at that one, that one's crazy. So yeah, here's Haller Bros. If you see Haller Bros with like the embroideries on the front, you're definitely gonna make more money and more brush poppers. So that's kind of um, leading the charge. So let's let's take off this filter. This is gonna be all the long sleeve button shirts, but we're gonna wanna filter it to something where it's more, mm, I don't wanna say manageable, but more likely to find might be the way to say it. And where's the price? Okay, here we go. Minimum, let's just do um, $30 and minimum price $20. Because this is really the range. Let's just do, mm, Let's do 25 to 40. Cause I list a lot, like the highest shirts I usually list are like 39.99. So I kinda, I'm kinda curious to see what this looks like. Wrangler FR, uh, Bernini, Frank and Eileen, man, that is a killer one. If you guys never uh, heard of Frank and Eileen, you are about to find out. Frank and Eileen is a tremendous brand. I think it's, uh, it might be women's. Oh, they didn't even say men or women's on this one. I think it's both genders though. I believe so. One way you can tell is because like which way the buttons are and just the sizing in general for men's gonna be bigger. Robert Graham, here's a Patagonia. So yeah, look at all these vintage Wrangler. These are, um, they put denim, but these might actually be chambray. Uh, brush popper, I don't know if this one's a true brush popper. Sometimes people just put brush popper. And notice these are all the same seller. Let's find out the store, the Retro Lab. So he's in Grand Prairie. Yeah, you can just tell based on like the photos, right? These are all the same guy. So what you can do is um, find this guy. <laughs> You'll probably run into him in the thrift store though. Uh, Steo, Polar Alpha, so the Tiger, that's crazy. I've never seen that one, but the thick block, uh, color blocking like stripes is always pretty good. Hmm. True Religion, Harley Davidson. Vintage Disney store. Here's a Ralph Lauren. Yeah, he's got all the stuff going for it. Here's my listing. It sold twice. Somebody returned it. This ombre one. Uh, here's mine. Versace collection. Here is. A, you're gonna see a lot of mine here. Yeah. Here's a vintage Wrangler. Here's a Patagonia flannel. Um, there's this guy. So it'd be interesting to find out where this guy's sourcing. Uh, that's kind of in the Dallas area. Might be a play. Uh, this is crazy. It's called Wow Brooks Brothers. Look at this patchwork stuff. I've never seen that one. 
That's a crazy looking one. Looks like somebody made this though, but <laughs> it looks bizarre. Poncho, this is one I feel like I've passed on. I feel like I've seen Poncho before and not picked it up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've passed on that one just because it just didn't really stick out and I didn't. I probably didn't look it up properly. Because when you look up words like Poncho, you're gonna find actual Poncho, so it's a little hard to search. Here's Miss Maine. Yep, we are looking at it right here. So. This is a good way to find out like some items. Look at this one, crazy looking tech. Chronicles of Never, Chronicles of Never, insane. Tommy Hilfiger, I didn't know that Tommy Hilfiger really sold the vintage stuff though, I guess that's part of that. This is Lucky Strike Tobacco Cigarettes promo shirt. So yeah, interesting. Let's see, what else though, Sean, what else? Oh my gosh, look at these, Brooks and Dunn, Panhandle Slim, a couple of those crazy looking shirts, same buyer, see? And it makes sense, because he probably sourced it at the same spot, because the same person donated it. Uh, let's just try a different category, like we're really tired of doing this. Let's go jackets men's used. Let's just see, because jackets, it's coming up to winter time, and we're still in that uh, category. So let's go, jackets you can kinda go a bit higher on price, because, um, Typically, you're going to spend like 20 bucks for a jacket at the thrift, maybe less, but, and we'll do a minimum of $40 because we don't want no cheap jackets. Let's see. Let's see what we get. Okay, here we go. Carhartt customized peace of mind. Wow. Some of these things just stick out. Now, leather jackets, I'm not a pro with what leather is compared to like fake leather, pleather. Um, look at all this fringe though snap on canvas that's a pretty pretty easy one in my opinion indian motorcycles if you ever watched american pickers mike wolf always talking about indian motorcycles uh this military flyers ones i've definitely sold this a number of times being near bases and stuff you find this type of type of stuff um really great really great piece right there rock mount interesting so they had to sell this twice because it's here twice um this one's interesting, navy. So it looks like some military stuff, you know? That might be your better jackets in that 40 to $100 range. Here's a vintage Sherpa line jacket. Now they definitely make newer age ones, so you gotta be uh, looking at the tag on those. We got uh, Barber. I definitely picked this one up for uh, pants. I think it was rain proof, proof pants. Uh, let's see, yeah, a lot of these bomber jackets, man. Vintage Carhartt, man, I got a vintage Carhartt that I hadn't sold yet. It's the same blanket lined as well but it's kind of torn up. I paid five bucks for it though, so can't complain. Here's the vintage trucker jacket. This is actually called the Type 3 jacket because of these Vs. There's no pockets on these either. It actually, they didn't come out with pockets till the 80s. And this, look at this. This is a jacket if I've ever seen one. Like if you saw somebody wearing this today, you would know they are a cool dude. And even says brush popper on the tag. Tremendous. How do I know if it's brush popper? It says it right on the tag. That's how you know. What an awesome piece, man. Do you guys have like too many tabs open? I always get like, I don't know, weary if I have way too many open. I feel like it's uh, a bad sign. Here's a really nice Patagonia Performance Better Sweater Hoodie. Full zip jacket. That's just a lot of words, man. That's a lot of words. Some Patagonia stuff. Now we're getting into the Nano Puff. Um, there's the North Face Puffer. Pendleton. Vintage Pendleton, I've, I've heard is always better. Oshkosh Bagosh. I thought that was just for children. Makobi coated fur, fake fur, that's crazy. Some of these jackets though, you just see it on the store and you know what it is and it's gonna be money. But then other things like this, Brioni is a suit coat. Um, even this Banana Republic, that's actually pretty crazy. Leather jacket, real sleek style though is probably why that one sold. More Carhartt jackets, Carhartt, Carhartt, Carhartt. Uh, sports polo, Ralph Lauren, pretty good. It's crazy, like, I bet you I've seen some of this in the thrifts because he sold out of my area. I bet you uh, I just didn't didn't find him or didn't pick him up, didn't research it. Fat Albert jacket, that's pretty wild. Is that even, like, the branded or is it, like, uh, like a different brand? Do they have their own brand? Well, he's on it. Oh, wow, look at this. Yeah, I don't know if it's a Fat Albert brand or just a jacket with all this, like, customized stuff. Okay, FUBU, yeah. All right, that makes sense. Yeah, so that's kind of how you would uh, search for items. I think it's pretty good. It's pretty basic, but like honestly, using those advanced features uh, can really help. So yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a pretty basic tutorial on how to find items to sell, but you can do this in any category. You can do it for video games. You can do it for pots and pans. 
uh, whatever you want out there in your thrift, but try to identify like the stuff in your area because that's what you're gonna find. If you like have the whole search, you may be seeing brands that just don't even come up in your area and you have a hard time uh, understanding like why am I looking these up if I'm not seeing them in the stores? It's because uh, every region has like specific items and stuff and that's really gonna help you figure out like what to sell and what to buy. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you next time. Bye.